I'm selling in my very first frag swap next week. How on earth is it so close all of a sudden? In this video, I'm gonna make a list and check it twice, just like Santa Claus. What's up, coral people? My name is Remy, and this is the Bahama Llama Coral YouTube channel. If you would like to support the channel, go ahead, like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified when I post the actual frag swap video, which is coming in a couple weeks. Every year, our club here in St. Louis puts on a couple different shows for hobbyists and vendors to take part in. And I'm gonna say this up front, y'all, we need to give a standing ovation to the vendors that participate in these frag swaps, because oh my gosh, it is a ton of work. I do not, for one second, think I'll ever become a vendor. I just had a bunch of stuff on the frag tank and I needed to offload it and this felt like the perfect opportunity to not only take you along on the journey, but sell off some of the stuff that I got surplus of in the frag tank. Today we're gonna run through all of the items that I've prepared, some of the items that I will be buying and kind of take the tank through a leak test and a mock setup, just real quick, just to see if it still holds water to see if the pump works, all that kind of stuff. I really wanted to make this video as kind of a checklist reminder for myself for the actual day of and everything that I need to keep top of mind for the actual frag swap coming up on March 7th. Which by the way, if you're in the St. Louis area, please stop by. I'll put the information in the description below and it'd be fun to meet you too. So with this swap, I want it to be as budget friendly as possible because everything that I end up buying translates into profit lost. So I didn't wanna buy designated lights for frag swaps and things like that, so I'm gonna make do with what I have right now and not waste a whole bunch of extra money with lights that I'm just gonna use for a frag swap. And then what's going to be the most interesting, I think, of this series is in the final video, which is gonna come out after the frag swap, so the frag swap is March 7th, so it'll come out that next week, will be the actual breakdown of everything I spent money on and how many frags I sold and how that whole experience was and if I actually made any money or not. Hopefully, the corals open and are happy. I have heard so many stories of first timers that go to swaps and the zoanthids just do not open and none of the coral cooperates and you can't sell anything if it's not open because nobody knows what it actually is. So fingers crossed for that one. All right, first things first, the tank, what I'm going to be selling out of. I posted on our Slash Facebook group, I pretty much said, hey, does anybody have a cheap frag tank that they would want to get rid of? Brandon, who is one of our Slash execs, said, hey, I'm not gonna be selling this year. If you wanna use my show tank, feel free to come grab it from me. The only stipulation that I have is that, can I sell some of my frags out of that tank? And I said, Heck yes, that's a free tank, a free carbon reactor, and we're good to go. Now mind you, I have to return this when it's all said and done, but it was no cost to me, which is fantastic. I also got a light stand if I choose to hang the lights over the tank instead of mounting them with the arm. So I went ahead and filled up the tank to see if it held water. Hey, good news, it does. Uh, I'm glad I tested out the pump though because the pump that he provided me is shot which is totally common for pumps that have been sitting for a while and it's not really a problem because I actually had another one just like it and I just put it right on the plumbing that he's got already established and we're good to go. Now this pipe here is essentially for display purposes at a show. It's not something that I ever noticed before while attending shows, but it makes perfect sense. You don't want a bunch of ripples on the top of the water because then you can't see anything. So if you divert the flow to the bottom of the tank, voila, you have a nice calm surface for viewing the goods. This tank is about 20 gallons, which means I'm gonna need about four or five Home Depot buckets to fill that up and then another five to 10 gallons of extra water on hand to replace the water that's given away with each frag. I'll do a big water change the night of the show. They're gonna allow us to set up the night before, so just before I go there, I will do a water change on the frag tank, get myself about 20 gallons out of there, mix a little bit of extra fresh salt water in with that water, and we should be good to go. For lighting, I have two AI Prime HDs. One of them is earmarked for the Pico tank, which I have not gotten wet yet, so that probably won't happen until after 
the last frag swap video, we'll go ahead and get that wet and get that cycle started. And I'll go ahead and pop on that extra AI Prime that I have on the Pico tank. I'm also going to borrow one of the AI Prime HDs from my frag tank. Thankfully, if I just scooch over those other two primes and with the T5 little thingamajigger that I have set up here, hopefully we can cover the tank for a day while I just utilize one of those lights on the frag tank. I know it's not ideal and if you're going to make this a full-time gig or if you're going to be a vendor at a lot of shows you need designated lights for those shows but since I'm only doing one I was like you know what maybe I can just handle this for one day and it'll be fine and the corals will be okay. There's a few things you don't think about when you're going into a frag swap like this. Most of the coral that I'm going to be selling is like a zoanthid frag or something easy to just place in a bag. So I bought a bunch of these bags. These are two mil, I believe four inch by 12 inches long. And I think I'm going to go actually longer than this so then I can just tie them instead of having to rubber band them. Another thing you don't think about is how to take credit card payment. Thankfully, Square, this is not sponsored by any means, Square actually is probably the best option for credit card payment while you're at a frag swap. I think they take the least amount of money, have the most amount of support. I think PayPal also has a program too, but I went with Square on a recommendation and this reader is free. They give it to you for free. Obviously they make their money back by the, uh, the small percentage that they take out of each transaction. Obviously cash is king, so if you've got cash, you're probably gonna get a better deal at a frag swap, so I uh, always have cash and I'll definitely have a bunch of change on me that day. I also have to manufacture this frag rack. What I'll basically do is I'll probably just put some PVC pipe on the corners here, and then uh, I've got a few smaller pieces of frag rack that I'll put higher priced items on. I haven't quite decided how I'm going to uh, section this off yet. And this isn't all of the frag rack. This is just an example of one of them. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide it by fluorescent pointers and then just go 10, 20, $30 maybe an ask section, but I don't really want to sell a whole lot of high price coral. So I'll probably have a handful of higher price stuff, but the main stuff that I want to get rid of is in that 10, 20 and $30 section. So I've uh, reached out to Derek, who is actually the manufacturer of the frag rack that we gave away not too long ago. He's going to make me some of those little like acrylic fluorescent uh, labels so I can put that on the rack and it looks kind of professional that way. Another little touch is stickers. Um, if you watch out for sales, uh, I just got these, the stickermule.com. This is also not a plug. I will leave a link down in the description below, but Sticker Mule, probably the most like user-friendly sticker website out there. I got a bunch of these little round stickers. These are great for frag swaps because they're small uh, and they don't cost a lot. I think this on sale, this little packet was like 10 bucks. So you can get good deals at Sticker Mule. I'll leave a link down in the description. I've also kind of gone back and forth on a sign. I think what I might end up doing is just getting a larger like eight by 10 sign or something that just denotes that this is the Bahama Llama Coral uh, vendor booth. I don't want to go all out and get a table skirt. I don't want to get a banner because they cost way too much money. And all I think about is all the money lost on like a $150 banner. Maybe if I can get the hookup on someone who does graphics here in St. Louis, that's a potential way to go. But other than that, I'll probably just get a laminated sign that just kind of says, hey, this is the Bahama Llama Coral Vendor Booth. There are a few things that I'm going to buy. And one of those, and I've gone back and forth on this, uh, is a cooler. They make these these 24 pack Coleman coolers that are perfect for uh, frags. They're actually stackable and I'm going to custom fit one of these egg crate racks that will go directly into that Coleman cooler. And it's like 15, 16 bucks or something like that. I may or may not get one or two. I went back and forth because I got a bunch of coolers in the garage, but those have been on camping trips and who knows what's in there. And I'd rather have something that I can start fresh on and designate as a coral transport system instead of having to clean it out and worry about whatever else is in there. Because if there's one thing I've learned in this whole process is that if one thing goes wrong, the whole thing could crumble. Like if the corals don't participate or if the heater doesn't work or if they get transported poorly, all of those things play a factor when you're doing a frag swap. One of the best parts about this swap is that it is a total of maybe 
seven minutes from my house. So I'm not driving an hour. I'm not driving four hours and transporting coral very long, which is gonna be really, really convenient. So I'm really excited about that and they won't get jostled around in the car too much. But having it that close, if I do have an emergency, I might be able to pop back over to the house or have my wife bring me something. One thing I didn't touch on when we were talking about the tank is this media basket. This is really nice because uh, I can put filter floss in here and that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put filter floss, maybe a couple sponges in here to take care of any of the floaties or detritus that may come into the tank and obstruct the view from that top down. Hopefully that works. And then just the carbon reactor are the only forms of filtration. You just wanna make sure you have clean water and you don't have any coral warfare going on in the tank because they're all in a different environment. So I probably got some filter floss lying around here and some sponges as well. So I'll just utilize those for the day of the swap. So as far as what's next for me, I'm gonna make some more frags. I'm gonna organize, make sure that I've got all the corals in the right price point ready to go. I have to make sure that the frag racks are manufactured and just keep packing away at it. You know, I'm a father, I have two children, uh, I work full time. So really after the kids go down, that's why the, the tanks are usually like ramping down whenever I'm shooting videos because it's usually after the kids are down and the night is winding down, I'm still doing stuff. I'm still preparing for this frag swap. I think everybody should go through this process at least once or at least attempt to. If you're a little bit more extreme hobbyist uh, and you've got the inventory to do so, you owe it to yourself to make a little money so that you can put it back into your hobby. Maybe get a bigger display tank or maybe get some new equipment. I still haven't made any money. I'm not planning on making a whole ton of money here, so we'll see what happens. Maybe it'll be 500 dollars maybe it'll be a thousand maybe nothing will open and i'll make like 30 bucks who knows i just want to make my money back on the table which by the way was a hundred dollars so i think that's pretty reasonable if you've ever taken part in planning a wedding it's actually nothing like that at all it's like a much smaller scale maybe if you took your entire baseball card collection to a convention but the baseball cards were alive and you had to keep them alive to make sure that they didn't die that would be you know what i'm done with the metaphors those were both dumb and nothing like that again much love to all the road warriors all the vendors that you see at all these shows from reef of palooza to the local mom and pop slash show that we've got in a week and a half. Thank you to the vendors that do this. I appreciate you. Okay, so we have one more video in this series and that will be the wrap up of uh, the setup and uh, meeting all the vendors and the actual frag show and then how much money do we make on the end of it, if any. Who knows, we'll see. So if you wanna see that video, make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you're notified whenever I upload new content. This is the point in the video when I tell you about Ocean State Aquatics. If you have not checked out osachoice.com, you should go do that because you're gonna find a multitude of corals and livestock that you can purchase online and it will be delivered right to your house. And like I've said before, Scott Crow, Chris Kaz, all the guys at OSA have upped their game with the opening of a frag farm across the street from Ocean State Aquatics. So they've got a lot more selection when it comes to that and a lot more is coming. So just go to the website, osachoice.com. Thank you so much for your support of the channel. I really appreciate it. Ah, these videos, you know, they pop up and it's like wanting me to leave, but then you're like, no, Remy, you put those videos there. Who are you talking to? Because you're controlling all of this. I'm taking my stickers. I'm leaving. I didn't actually go anywhere because I have to press stop on the camera now.